Okay, now that we downloaded everything, let's start to install some stuff. The first thing we're going to want to install is Rybash, but before we can do that, we're going to have to install RyPython. So double click on that and go run. Make sure everything is selected. Install and just follow the prompts and pretty much click next whenever you have to. We don't need to see the README. Okay, and now RyPython is installed. Now let's install Rybash. You're going to want to select Oblivion and select Python because we're going to be installing the Python version of Rybash. Okay, we don't have to see the README. And now, if you go to your Oblivion folder, you'll see a new folder in it called Mopi. Click on that and scroll down until you see Rybash Launcher. I'm actually going to send this to my desktop so I can get there really easily all the time. Click on that, and this should come up. You can close this box, and this is Rybash. You can select the Installers tab. This is where we're going to um, end up putting all of our mods. Select Yes, and everything should be all set. One thing, if you go back to Mods, here at File, right click and disable lock times. That'll just make things go by smoother. Okay, now we're going to install Boss. You can close this. Go to your FCOM Utilities and run Boss. Select Oblivion. We don't need to run boss for Oblivion yet or view the README. Okay. And now, if you try to run Rybash, it won't work. For some reason, the um, version of Rybash and the version of boss, something is incompatible, so they will not work right now. However, there is a workaround. If you go to the Oblivion forums, here we were at the FCOM thread. Click on Oblivion Mods right here. And then scroll down until you find uh, Boss, Better Oblivion Sorting Software. It might not always be towards the top. You might have to look down here or even go to different pages. But once you find it, click it. And go to the second post right here. Fix for Bosch version 1.8 with Rybash 2.93. What we're going to do is open up basher.py. You can find that in your games Oblivion Mopi folder. There's basher.py. Right click, go edit with IDLE. Okay, so we're trying to find this. Copy that come here, control find, control V, find. There it is. We're going to replace that with this. Save the changes. And now, if you run right bash, it should initialize. And better than that, if you look down here, you can even run Bosch in Rybash. And there you go. Boss ran, and now it's showing you all the information you need. Okay, now that we have our tools installed, 
Let's start using them. First, go to your FCOM folder and go to Unofficial Patches. Select them, copy, and where your Oblivion folder is, you'll have a new folder under it called Oblivion Mods. Go there, then click on Bash Installers. Paste uh, your unofficial patches there. Also, if you followed my instructions in the previous video, go to where you have all of your DLCs, copy those, and put them in the same place. Now run Rybash and go to the Installers tab and you'll see you have a whole bunch of packages that Rybash is just waiting to load up. Let's move some of this around. Okay. First thing I would suggest, um, instead of arranging these by package name, arrange them by order. You'll know that it's by order when last is last. Now we have to actually order these the right way. And the FCOM thread is a great place to figure out how to order them. So we're going to order them to be unofficial Oblivion patch, then the unofficial Shivering Isles patch, then the DLCs, then the unofficial official mods patch. Then we're going to do the um, unofficial patch supplementals afterwards. Like I said, this doesn't have it, but it should be after all the patches. Then we'll do Francesco's, then OOO, Oblivion Warcry, and so on. So first, we want to have the unofficial Oblivion patch. So right click, click on Move To, and type 0, because 0 is the first one in the order. After that was the Shivering Isles patch. Move to 1. After that was the DLCs. And look at that, we have all of our DLCs. After that was the unofficial official mods patch. And that's next. And then last is the patch supplementals. Okay, now they're in the right order. Now we can in start installing these packages. Go to the first one. I'm afraid I have some of this messed up. There we go. That looks a lot better. And you can see in this package, it has these ESPs. Uh, two of these are good, the, the top two. The bottom one, um, Rybash actually can fix on its own, so you don't need that one. So uncheck that, make sure the other two are checked. Right click and say install. Okay, after that's installed, move to the next one. There's only one ESP, and you want that one, so install it. And just keep going. A word of caution for the unofficial official mods patch. You'll see uh, if you're acute that there are two thieves den unofficial patches. One of them has this sssb.esp. This one is old. You don't need this one, so you can uncheck that one.
Finally, the unofficial patch supplementals, you'll see it has a whole bunch of sub packages. So select the ones that apply to you. This one probably will because you have Oblivion. And then select the DLCs that apply to you. After you've done that and all of them are checked, you can install that as well. There, all of our packages are installed. If you move over to the Mods tab, you'll see all of the ESPs that were in the installers, like all of these, are over here now. So you're going to want to select basically all of them, except for if they're colored or if they're italicized. This one's green, so we're not going to select it. Okay. Move that so you can see the load order. We also want to um, organize these based on their load order as well. Okay, once you've um, done that, you can run boss. You could have actually run boss before checking them, but I just chose to do it afterwards we see no error messages or no um, warning messages close that and you'll see it reorganized them so that the bash patch is at the bottom and everything is ordered nice and neat okay now for some reason spell tombs is green and S oblivion citadel door fix is black um, the reason that happened was because i right clicked on bash patch and i clicked rebuild patch and then this came up and so I said yes deactivate it I canceled that and then this was black and this was green uh, not a big deal just like this now because it's uh, normal and now we're going to rebuild the bash patch so right click and say rebuild and basically what I do if there is one of these in here I select it so for merge patches I select all and check uh, these are not one of these so don't worry about that let's make this bigger actually so we can see what we're reading yeah we can just select all death item select all and check select all and check and there's going to be two, exec two exceptions to this um, coming up in a later video but we'll worry about that when we get there. ESM and the these two. None of these are um, ESPs or ESM, so we're gonna forget. We're going to skip those for now. Here in the tweak settings, here's that vampire aging face fix that I talked about earlier that was in the unofficial oblivion patch that you can use um, the bash patch to fix instead. Leveled list, you want to check that. And that should be good. Click build patch. Okay, the bash patch is made. Our uh, spell tombs is has a plus there, so that's all good. And now you can click on this little oblivion icon to launch oblivion to make sure that it works.